Hello, everyone, and welcome to another Boogie Percent race. S. Rocker, your your host for tonight, and joined with me is Sarah. This race Hello. is over. Already going? Nice. Yeah. Well, I mean, with Boogie, it's nice to get started early because we've got this. What is it? A minute long cutscene? Uh, it's four minutes, four minutes twenty before we actually get to dodging enemies. There's a bit of movement before then, but a lot of cutscenes, yeah. So this is the quarterfinals, the last quarterfinal race left. Uh, we've got some helpful uh, people in chat telling us. It's three minutes, it's one minute, eight seconds, it's four minutes, 20 seconds, it's six minutes, 66 seconds, I hope not. Pretty sure leaving the house to like, when enemies are there, it's actually 420. <clears throat> nice. Well, race them if you got them. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's the truest one so far. Greater than zero and less than one oh one. Uh, also an, an amazing name I've never seen before. <laughs> and just some bookkeeping stuff as we head up this hill. Uh, can people in chat tell me how the volume levels are at? Game sound, uh, commentators. Game sound low? I have cranked it a bit. See, uh, see how that's going now. And uh, not much to say in this early boogie game. Um, just heading up that hill. Daniel's off to an early lead of about one second here, so. Very, very exciting race. <laughs> But yeah, I do expect this to be a pretty close one. We're getting getting quite late in the the bracket here, so it's really only only very very good runners left. Yeah, and uh, both of these runners very experienced in a lot of earthbound categories, but especially boogie percent. Mm, yeah. You think we'll see a behind the couch from either either of these two? Oh, hopefully. I like, I like behind the couch track. I, I like it too. It's definitely different. It's not one I would have ever thought to do. It's, I, I always get hung up on the little edges of sprites. Yeah. Oh, Daniel going behind Ooh, the couch. Is. One behind and one in front. Four twenty out the door and seeing some enemies. That that is correct. And some deep spawns over on Daniel's side. Maybe gonna try and stutter past that coil snake. I think you're right. At least get it hung up on the trees. And here comes a crow. That's not gonna be too bad for Ilayaya. Crow just gets stuck on the tree there. 
Not between a dog and a butterfly. Yeah, that's that's a rare dog. That's unfortunate. Daniel's already up the up the hill. Yeah. Just much better, much better st spawn RNG. Yeah, there's just tons of spawns over on Ilayai outside. Yeah. I think these are like 10% most of them. There are three 100% plates and the rest are all 10% that are just everywhere. But no fights, so that's always a plus. No fights, so... Yeah. I think any hill that you don't take a fight is a pretty good one. And we've got a prediction started in chat, so get those votes in. I'm gonna win this race. looking like a really good hill, hill time for Daniel. Absolutely. I think he only got like one bad spawn. Also taking that celebratory bread roll from the present on his way out. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, the Starman Jr. fight goes. <laughs> Pain train bang 69k points. <laughs> That's a bold strategy, Sarah. Let's see if it pays off. Kayla is trying to run away. But it's actually faster. It might be actually less text than attacking. Oh, but not sure. I think it was a misclick trying to auto fight. And Daniel is through his fight. Um, not the quickest Starman Jr. we've seen. Yeah, I think that was three simple rolls to start off. slow one on the other side as well. Yeah, unfortunately sometimes Buzz Buzz does not deal uh, a lot of damage. And he is yeah. the only reason you win this fight. Yeah, lots of fires as well. It's like a couple seconds slower every time he uses fire instead of freeze or guarding. Uh, not having any of this tonight says I believe in the double <laughs> fail. Uh, <laughs> I wonder. I wonder how uh, we would deal with a a coordinated uh, simultaneous DNF. But that would be the only way that would happen. <laughs> Let's not find out.
Oh yeah, that's fair. Ness and Jeff, definitely. Like to miss. <laughs> Let's hope not too much of that today, though. Ooh, I think that unlucky snake spawn on the way down. Oh, <laughs> and a double snake. <laughs> he was just a distraction for his buddy. <laughs> I guess it'll level up off of this snake at least. I never knew they haunted in packs. Yeah, they're coordinated. And Daniel's taking a red oh. swirl, and this is not a red swirl Ooh, you want to see. That's bad, yeah. That's probably a death. Unless you can get the away. first turn nice. runaway. Nice. Even a cool eating your bread roll. Yeah, you try and take a path down that that skips the trigger for that spawn plate, but I didn't see. Maybe he cut it a bit too close. Yeah, that's what it looked like to happen, and there was still one just barely off screen that decided, "Hey, I want a piece of this action." Yeah. He should be able to get inside before that one goes for him, though. Yeah, it's Take... going for the fruit juice. Yeah, I mean, uh, that red swirl did deal him a bit of damage having to eat that bread roll. I mean, and a fruit yeah, juice here he's... is not a bad strat. He's just a little bit low. 35 quite a bit more comfortable than 29 here. So that he can hopefully get through the next two fights without healing. And then hamburger drop. And then hopefully he's fine for Yes Man Jr. Normally not very scary of a fight compared to the last two. through with 11 HP. We're going to see a life up here. Makes sense. Save those yeah. burgers for eating right in front of Pranky. Oh, this is an angry Frank today. <laughs> Okay, there we go, that's what you want. Let's do the fight. Yeah, that's the that's the scary part done. Misses. Yeah, he's gonna use another burger. Meanwhile, Bella Yaya is not having a good time against Frank. Yeah. <laughs> Rolled down to zero once already. They, uh, but that smash is gonna do it. Ooh, that's a nice smash. And another smash to close out the Frankenstein fight. <laughs> wow. One wow, HP. Was... No PP. They got a hamburgers too. Yeah, that was that was gutsy to not heal the it paid off.
And there is sure still how, how close it was to dying as well. Uh, it got pretty close uh, a couple yeah. of times. There is still time to get your points and to vote on one of these two racers. After the RNG we've seen from both sides, I, I don't know who I'd pick. <laughs> yeah. It's really anyone's game at this point. used some already yeah absolutely and uh after the kind of luck that Ilayaya has been having I, I mean i'd go for safety myself but um that's just me yeah he's not far enough behind to do strats that risky still got lots of Lots of run left for things to go wrong on both sides. Meanwhile, Daniel's already in Giant Stub, taking four already slugs. Already fighting four slugs? That's a quick four pack. is hitting for 24 that's apparently he's ro rolled quite low on offense just need to get through this one though for the level up that's only one offense he's he's probably really low I don't know what the exact number is, but that's not a lot of damage for this point. Ooh, in three mice on the left side of the screen. <laughs> yeah, that's that's just giant stuff sometimes. Four. Ooh, a fourth one. Are really gonna reset on the door and then try to get the yeah. bottom. Yeah, just. Getting rid of all those mice. <laughs> More hits for 26. It's a couple of weaknesses today. <laughs> Daniel's set up in a pretty good position now. Oh yeah, he's he's got the setup now. Got the stuck mills. This will bring him up to level seven. So he might actually be going up to the second floor at this point. since he's got such a a good setup here with the stuck mouse. I'll probably go after this one because he just needs six. Gonna probably go for the six pack on the top floor. That makes sense to me. I'm seeing a couple of first time chatters uh, in the chat here. Welcome on in. Thanks for joining us on this Boogie percent uh, evening. Hello. Uh, you come for the races, you stay for the test.
Oh no! That mouse darted out of the wall and gave Il Ilyaya a back attack. I missed it because I was posting Tessies. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the one that was stuck on the wall just darted out when he was going uh -huh. for the slug pack. Not quite as stuck as he thought, apparently. Yeah, his EXP count's really weird at this point. He took a two pack and then a mouse. So I don't actually know how many he needs at this point. Ooh, there's a bomb drop for a liar. It's a one in one twenty-eight from the from the slugs. A lot of people don't like to see that in their buggy person, though, and see it as kind of an omen of bad luck. Yeah, some people think it's cursed. I'll have to see. Can't get too much more cursed uh, than the run has already. Yeah, that's true. Maybe it's a good omen in that case. Maybe the, the luck's turning around. Nineteen offense at level seven. Is that usual? I think that's quite low. I think you normally hit about 20 at this point. Can't quite stutter past. Taking a bad fight, not one you want to see. Although, yeah, this, this may be enough with the Antoid. I'm not 100% sure on the XP. Yeah, I have no idea. Taking a lot of weird fights in this grind. Uh, personally, I blame you, because you said the luck was turning around. <laughs> That's fair. Lots of bad attacks. At least those Antoids are off the field. Meanwhile, da yeah. Daniel's fighting his own ant, and it is down. Yeah, that's a... That's like a very average ant. <laughs> Just decent rock and rolls and... Classic uh, no. victory gift there from uh, Daniel. <laughs> bad rules. Rip Bozo. Yeah, maybe that bomb is cursed. This is gonna put uh, him really far behind. Yeah. Not even on the third floor. Mm -hmm. I think he hit level 8 at least. Yeah, he did. Well, there was a high five there. You should at least be a bit safer for Titanic Amp with the bomb. Yeah, for sure. But it doesn't hit those uh, Antoids, right? Because they're in the back row and Titanic's in the front. Or am I wrong? Yeah, well, you rock in to get rid of the Antoids, and then you just... The bomb is to... Clean up. Ah, I, I see. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, I just cannot catch a break! Just can't. It's... Yeah, this is not, not what you want out of Giant Step. Meanwhile, meanwhile uh, Daniel is... Making his way downtown, walking fast, and uh, going into his comps fight. Mm -hmm. 
So all he needs from this ant fight is just a decent couple of rock and rolls and then to use the bomb to finish off. Uh, meanwhile, on Daniel's side, he got a smash followed by a crushed miss and two crushing chops in a row, but he got through it. Yeah, that's... That's cops. Looks like, uh... Well, Yaya might be saving that, that bomb. Never mind. Nah, just healing up a bit first. And that means he's still well stocked up on burgers for the cop gauntlet. So he's nice and safe there at least. Daniel was too, apparently. He's still got five left. Uh, he he just got a drop from the last cop, but he is getting oh, smashed nice. and crushing chopped left and right and center. How quickly doth the gift of burger have this kind of RNG? Yeah. I think he's still doing okay with it, though. Like, he's still well stocked up, and he's still got the 20 PP left for the double rocking on strong. So he should be okay. Not with double misses, that's... This cop's actually being a little kinder. Uh, not... Yeah. You want to start... Don't you want 60 uh, HP going into strong fight? Uh, I don't remember. I think I might see a heal here early on, because strong can hit for like 40-ish, and then you can't heal out of that. Okay, so, yeah, so just healing turn one. He did have two burgers left. I thought I thought he didn't know. Oh, 55. That's that's a low roll. 95 to go. Uh, 69. 69 damage. Nice. Nice. And he's through. That's sub 28 on it. That's a really good time. Anything sub 30 is like good, so 28 minutes is a really good one. And seeing uh, Lola Yaya's uh, skip sandwich there in his inventory. Yeah, pick, he picked that up on the, the way out of Giant Step. This is something we've talked about before in our other races that we've commentated. This is a very popular strategy from a lot of the Japanese uh, picking up that skip sandwich and uh, another one near the end of the game, I think. Yeah, there's one in the cultist house that's basically right next to where you walk. So you may as well get that one. Yeah, normally people get them in Bergen Park, so... I don't think I've seen anyone get the, the giant step one instead. It's not too far out of the way, though, right? Because it's right off to the right of that uh, rope coming down. Yeah, it's it's pretty close, but the, it is a couple screen transitions extra. I'm not sure. It's probably not that much slower. Give an apple for the hamburger. He's eating good tonight. Didn't even come from the trash can or nothing. Wow. It's a cop burger, I think. 
<laughs> oh yeah, don't eat that. <laughs> yeah, that's a cool strat, using the skip sandwich to heal on Carpenter. Try and get out with 6 or 7 HP for the death ward. Yeah, I did see that mentioned, and because uh, something I learned in chat, uh, and he said it, was that the skip sandwich effect of going faster actually buffers until after the fight, so you you uh, get the full skip sandwich effect uh, if you use it to heal. Yeah, it's weird, but works in our favor, so... Don't complain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd hate for them to patch that out. Oh, Elia is only getting one rock in for this strong, but... He just doesn't want to attack today. Just lots of guarding and losing tempo and missing. I mean... <laughs> Um, Ilyaya, I'm taking any kindness the RP, R, RNG wants to send my way. Yeah. yeah, it's been a real weird one for this... for this race. Did you see the spawns on Daniel's screen? Yeah, it's getting kind of nuts. It's just everywhere. But he's doing a good job with it. Yeah, he's seen the, the pencil statue, so... That's all he needs from this trip. And Daniel heading back through uh, Attack Slug's favorite cave in the entire game. Did you know that? Yeah, it's... Fart Cave. That's the official name. What is the spawn mark today? Eli is having to despawn at the Tucson entrance. I don't think I've ever even seen anyone had to do that. <laughs> no, I, I wanted to say earlier, but... Uh... Is this a pirated cart? I know I know that happens sometimes. The spawns just go crazy. Uh oh. Yeah. Daniel was getting his sandwich. What do you think is the cruelest thing to give Apple Kid to eat? I've always liked the salt packet. That's, oh no, that's That's terrible. pretty mean. I at least give him parsley. Just salt. <laughs> Bottle of water is pretty mean as well. That's not even food. It's well, neither is salt. <laughs> well, that's true, yeah. Airframe says exit mouse. That's definitely not food. <laughs> Through the wall tree for Daniel. But a first turn runaway again. <laughs> And then using the iframes to get through. That's that's the strat there. I mean, 
<laughs> in this particular instance, yeah, that is the strat, but man, the first turn run away from the sharks, the first turn run away from the cheating oak through the wall. I, I'm happy that he is um, making the best with the bad situation. Bomb strats. There's a bomb in a present down there. He's paying the price for it though. <laughs> Lots of spawns on the way back. Yeah, no spawn plates there are not great. If I get this hit level 11 already, that's... It's all the Mantoids, and this fight, just zooming out of nowhere, it's a UFO, that's what it does. And, and the, the UFO is just I impossible to run away from at this point. Because they yeah, are so fast. So fast. I actually managed to smash it down though. Thank goodness. Is he going to be able to heal? Because he doesn't have any PP left. Oh, does he have a cold? He uh, does, Hopefully yeah. he can get to a butterfly in time. I don't think he's got any food left either. He might have, like, one burger, maybe? He has at least hit all of the triggers that he needs to. Yeah. I was hoping for a quick B check situation. Like, we're gonna see it, to be honest. And there's the butterfly. Oh, there's, there's the butterfly. Now we'll get to see how close he was. Oh, not too bad. Plenty of, plenty of HP. Yeah. And he's still got pretty good PP as well. Like, one more butterfly brings him up to full. Ooh. Oh no. Did the second one get there? No! <laughs> this can't keep happening! What is going on? Oh, apparently it can. And, and first turn, Mashermized. I, I don't know. D does he go and heal this? There's the ketchup packet. I think he might try and get to the... the Peaceful Burst Valley. A uh, girl who can heal you. Okay. It's not too far. Make a cool 50s. They'll, uh, flash around. And... Yeah. Yeah, that makes more sense. I kind of forgot that that NP. Be fair. Oh, <laughs> he is getting control of Scrambled, I think. I think so. I think that's what that's we're a very confused looking movement. Uh, we've got a great question in chat. If you don't want to answer it, I will. Uh, RP... Yeah, that's it. So how come Boogie? Like, why decide to make a category that stops there? The halfway point or something? Uh, it's about the quarter way mark of the any percent glitchless route. And it's just, like, a good length for a race. It's yeah, about for... an, an hour to an hour and a half. Yeah, for sure. That's exactly. 
Because a full race can be anywhere from, well, I mean, for a casual runner, we're talking like five plus hours. Uh, yeah. But for some of the really good ones, it can be under three, but we're talking like best of three. And yeah. uh, boogie percent is about an hour and a half. That's a good sit down, you know, play a game versus somebody. I need to get rid of that mushroom. Scrams the controls again, I, I saw. Let's hope for a good piece where I finally to make up for all of that. Uh, I mean, yeah, absolutely. The game's been mean enough. <laughs> like, okay, alright, you got your licks in. It's time to get serious. Give me some good luck. Meanwhile, Daniel's on to Car Painter. Probably gonna make short sure work of it. We're already seeing one reflect. That's a good start. Still got that bomb. And they're using the skip sandwich. <laughs> Doesn't work though. Carpenter missed. Getting another one. Another reflection. Pocket. Back to normal. 48 uh, is not best that you want to see you want to lower than that but uh it's not bad either yeah it's i've definitely seen like 80 plus at this point so that's like two hits from the mall i think and you're seeing that strat in action where daniel was skipping away from carpenter and yeah picking up another one to replace it Gonna save that one for the walkthrough three. Tax slug one in chat says, "Yeah, if the mole hits, uh, you voted on Daniel. Why are you putting this evil on?" <laughs> I see that too next to your name. That was actually a pretty kind PRV for Eli Aya. Games finally decided to stop being mean. See, okay, this is the problem. Uh, Sarah, you can't just say definitive statements like that or you'll give the commentators curse. You have to say, it seems like the game is finally starting to be nicer. But we'll have to see. <laughs> you know, you got to leave the air of mystery there. You confidently say it's, it, that the curse is guaranteed. It's just all good RNG from here. <laughs> it's like the perfect end to the race. Never mind, it's already 50 million crows. All right, we're on to Death Warp on Daniel's side. And the crow isn't hitting. Good three turn okay, ball. That's a good one. Yeah. Now, yeah, I knew he was in cutscene land for a while. And go ahead and get your votes in chat because we're going to see it here pretty soon. Daniel RGT, what kind of bus do you be? And he was a bright bus. Oh no. Just type exclamation mark bus in chat. Yeah. Well, that's my guess. Let's see what the, the bot guess is. Uh, I have turbo left bus. You got. That's a bus. You can't handle the stats. Timothy got the same stat. That's a bus. You can't handle the Aeroframe and chat got 
Three rights make a left bus. That's true. Yeah, that's very true. Attacks like getting my favorite bus by the house bus. <laughs> that's a good one, yeah. That's where you leave to and go buy the house for $7,500 in Onad and then come back and go to three. Taking that ketchup packet and eating it on the fresh egg. Not sure um, how tasty that would be, but Ness is maxed out. Probably not terrible, right? On a fresh egg? A raw egg? Oh, like a raw egg. I keep thinking it's a boiled egg. No. Although I hear an orange kid is working on turning a boiled egg into a fresh egg. Oh, somebody should invest in that. RP Praia in oh, chat gets left bus best bus. For Daniel. Just barely missed skipping it. So we might see a down bus. That's always fun. Uh, down bus is always fun, yeah. Andy Perfect in chat got stats of bus. You can't handle the stats. That's a very popular one to You can't hear any of the music, but uh, Daniel, we will not be hearing the Runaway Five from your side. We're gonna be hearing it soon enough from Yeah, that was that was a good cut painter. I, I actually can hear the the Runaway Five music because I'm just listening to the OST right now. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Well, I can't hear it. Could you give me a, like <laughs> an impression of what it sounds like, so I can it and. Uh, okay. I I've got to wait for it to get to the bit. That's that's what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? That was good enough for me. I, I felt like I was there. And I miss what kind of... Okay. Uh, Illo Yaya's having a lot of health coming out of the Fire Ranger. I probably not what... But uh, hopefully the mole is kind, and um, yeah. we'll get back on track here pretty soon. And anything could happen. You know, this race is far from over. Yeah. Winters, Winters is can still happen, yeah. Winters is the linchpin of so many of these. How many upsets have we seen? Just like from Brick Road, from Pond Cave, from even the walk yeah. down to Tessie. Yeah, there's a, a lot that can still happen. Bus, 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 bus. Oh, the bus pyramid. It's so good. Look at them go. I wish I could sub right now, but I, I cannot. Yeah. <laughs> Daniel says he's never been more ashamed in my life. Why is that, brother? That was a pretty quick mole as well. 
Yeah, that was a very similar one, I think. Daniel, you better get out of chat. It's time to play Earthbound again. It's time for Graveyard. Everybody's favorite. It's time to go play in the graveyard. It's my favorite. I just don't like all the uh, no good flies and the moldy men. And you know what? Pretty much any spawns. Yeah. The zombie's pretty cool, though. <laughs> the zombies are pretty cool. They don't fight you there. They just kind of look you over and stare into your soul. Which I always thought was funny, because it's like, oh god, this guy's staring into my soul. The other zombie's like, eh. <laughs> it gives you the, the up and down real quick. This is a, a no RNG minute category. So, there might be, but we're not allowed to use it. Yeah, uh, boogie percent is no minute, no, no glit. Uh, just like yeah. the vanilla any month, I think. Yeah. I don't think that there's a manip boogie percent, is there? I could be wrong. No. I'm sure somebody's run it at some point. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's actually really interesting, uh, the manips that you can just because of the yeah. way the, the code is locked. I mean... How late did we see the police barrier skip in the speedrunning lifetime? Wasn't that like just years ago? Years ago? I think it's more recent than that, even. It's, Could be. That's yeah. a really recent one, I think. Yeah, there's no official manipped boogie percent. Ooh, and now I get to hear the run. Of yeah. Everybody's favorite time waster over on Daniel's screen. Giving you a key that doesn't work. It, it's most insulting because he has a backup plan already. He has the bent key machine. But he didn't want to walk over and check the bent key. He, he instead gives that to you and makes you do it. And he's like, all right, you can take my bad key. <laughs> I mean, you can just see that the key is bent, surely. Uh, well, a bent key is right twice a day from what I that's very true, yeah. So, 
right bus but get stuck on the street sign. That's a Hate reset that for me. It's, it's like there's only one pixel in between the the guy and the sign. You can just barely oh. get through off of the red swan. Bubble monkey! <laughs> Two big grins and a smash. <laughs> That's not the most terrible okay. thing that could happen. Oh, well, monkey decided to. Plus, so Daniel got a cookie. Make amends. Yeah. Yeah. Plus, Daniel got a cookie. You think he's gonna go for that T Rex bat? <laughs> I'm not sure he's that far ahead, but. Fair enough. Fair enough. Have you actually ever done that? I have. I've done it a couple times actually. Yeah. It is not as good as you would think it would be for hours of time wasting. I have done it once before. I don't even remember. I just, I think I just assumed that it was good and ignored whether it was actually good or not. You get a replacement in apartment store. Yeah, that's not a long time. Plus, for the time you grinded that, you could have just, you know, bought a ton of bottle rockets. Yeah. Or just... Oh my god, are you looking at what wow. I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. And just skirting past every bit of it. That was insane. That was, that was some good dodges. Was... I would have um, panicked and ruined my run. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, luckily there's lots of things for them to get stuck on yeah yeah but those flies man they can they can weave in and out can't trust them they're no good yeah they they go zoom oh <laughs> Temp, uh, temple and i did not coordinate this <laughs> You, you never... How dare you? <laughs> I like it. It's just wrong. It is slightly cursed. Ready for the, the hardest boss in the game. Uh, Proto 1. Harry, not you too. <laughs> oh, he's going for the skip. I'm uh, getting it, unfortunately. That is a very Bubble hard Monkey skip. Didn't to cooperate. Pull off. Yeah, if Bubble Monkey had been a little faster, I think he would have got that actually, because it was past Jeff. I think he got Jeff past, yeah. Oh, that's just an easy proto one. Why you gotta say it like that? It's <laughs> just, just. Ah, come on! Um, that was too easy. Do it again. Yeah, we could end up doing it again. There's always the second proto. With Jimothy, says shout out to Sarah for actually pulling off proto one skip in the tournament. Did that happen? Yeah, it's the only time I've ever done it. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, congrats. Yeah. Going for duck skip as well. Yeah. That's a pretty good duck skip. That's a good duck skip, I think. Oh, and that is and not a proto, proto two. 2. This one usually doesn't kill you, though. <laughs> you gotta stop Could. saying stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm allowed to curse him if he's ahead. <laughs> that's fair, that's fair. Yeah, if Bubble Monkey was nicer, that could have been a, a no combat uh, brick road dungeon.
But think of Bubble Monkey's cursed existence, stopping to look around for apples and bananas that were never going to be there. What a stutter on Daniel's side. Did you see that? That was... Yeah, if those... If those slugs moved at all, he couldn't have gotten through there. Another one as well. Another one? <laughs> Look at the skill! The finesse! The grace! Never mind. He sucks. The worst runner. Seeing winters started proper on Ilayaya's side, and uh, I'm hoping for good RNG. Got some early goats. We get we see a dog. No crow fight. No crow fight. And pond cave is over for Daniel. I I want to say. Wow, that pond cave was really kind. It wasn't, though. All of that was okay. Daniel RGT stuttering his freaking heart out. Yeah, that was an amazing first room. And he's through and out of winters on his way to fight Boogie Tent now. Well, I mean... Oh, no! And just to add insult to injury, getting a photo man trigger. I always forget about that one, too, so don't feel bad. Wow, what a great photograph. It will always bring back the fondest of memories. Yeah, that's one photo each. What, what happened to your Tessie? It's a, it's a sad Tessie, because of all of the RNG. <laughs> Hello, Tessie, my old friend. I've come to ride to Pond Cave again. Thank you for the club with Timothy. <laughs> Appreciate it. Hoping for at least some good bubble monkeys for Eli. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So go, trying for that uh, Proto-1 skip. There's no harm in trying it, honestly. But uh, not not getting it. It only loses you, like, a couple seconds, maybe. Ooh, calling for help. Yeah, this is... This is the kind of Protoplasm fight that you die to. Oh, a defending to try to get the runaway? Okay, I see. Yeah. I didn't understand it first, but... Yeah, every turn you survive gives you an extra, I think, 10% to runaway. And the chance is so low at the start, you just defend instead. Yeah. 
Dean Drain in chat says. Oh, right. I can't unlock the GG emote because I bet 69,000 channel points. <laughs> and he's through the rest of Brick Road. He yeah. got the fast duck skip. Nice. And that's what you want to see, you know. Yeah. Um, Yeah, he's not going for any crazy starters, unlike Daniel. And I think that's the position of a lot of racers in Boogie Percent, is that, you know, especially with Bubble Monkey and how crazy he can be. Ooh, Green Swirl, though. Ooh, yeah. Um, stuttering is, is very, very difficult, and sometimes even impossible, depending on what Bubble Monkey wants to do. Yeah. But riding that invincibility all the way to the next room, smart. Yeah. Daniel getting all the spawns on the way down. We got a Teddy. Here's Boogie Ten. <laughs> There's the bomb that he picked, picked up all the way back in Peaceful Rest Valley. And Boogie Ten is down. Get your GGs in chat. GG. <laughs> oh, cheeky little bomb strap. That was my best Dick Van Dyke impression from Mary Poppins. How did I do? <laughs> Not the worst. <laughs> I haven't seen that film forever. Yeah, it was it was pretty good. Yeah. Visual time, 107.48. Amazing time. That's a good time. That's lower than I thought. <laughs> Daniel's talking to the yeah. dog who says, Woo woo. Oh, whoa. And there goes all my internet points. Uh, Let's see the details on that. Hold on, I have to I have to announce this. Two thousand two hundred ninety thousand five hundred and ninety one channel points go to Peen Train and nine others. Wow. Wow. Please don't get caught by a cave boy. Not, not like this. Okay, yeah, thank you. That's. It would be kind of fitting for how this run's been going. Just all of the b bad spawns.
don't spend it all in one place. It's going to be a uh, 114, 115 ish. Just, just more spawns. Oh, and Jeff hasn't got a lot of health. That's a little dangerous. Okay, there we go. And some Tom missing that attack and going for the win. These level ups are going to cut down the level ups on Boogie Tent, but uh, definitely not a fight we take there. Yeah. At least Jeff didn't die. That would have been the, the real disaster. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Hopefully that's boogie down. 340. Three, kind four. of middle of the road, a little low. And we already used the bottle rocket in that last fight. He's got fire at least to, to finish this off. And it's down. GG's in chat. There we go. GG. While Ella Yaya picks up that fly honey, ending his round at exactly 15 -0. Well, it was like 15 0 2. Yeah, 0 1 or 0 2. EGs to both racers. Play, honestly, play great games despite horrible RNG. Again, it's if you have someone to blame, so Sarah bad. is probably the one. Uh, next stop, we're going to have, not tonight, the time is yet to be determined, but the next match, it's going to be Classic James versus Daniel. It's going to be a good one as well. Oh, yeah, that's... Looking forward to that one. Any closing thoughts, Sarah? That was certainly some Earthbound that happened. <laughs> of all the Earthbounds, that was definitely one of them. For sure. No, I'm just... 
uh, great job. GG to Daniel. Yeah. GG to Ilayaya. And uh, let and GG to Sarah uh, for commentating last minute. I really appreciate it. But you know what? GG to Chad as well. Thank you, everybody, for yeah. being here. Love to see Tom, this just amazing support that we get. And uh, let's go ahead and raid. Uh, how about Miss Des Game? Uh, she is doing a full vanilla speedrun. Like, good night, everybody. Have a wonderful time. Bye. -bye.